Hey guys, DP like I breadstick and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon X and Y. Last episode we did some route exploring, found Wolfric, the gym leader, and now he is back in the gym, so we are gonna take on the Snowbell City gym. Look at him. He's got so much he's got so little clothes on, but yet he's just living life. Alright. Let's fight all of our trainers. I like how there's less trainers in this gym than like all the other gyms before this one. But yet, here we are. Alright, let's see. Let's hit a flamethrower. And I don't like how Cloyster is in this gym. And it's specifically you right here, mister, that has it. I'm gonna switch out to Jagmaster. Hopefully, Cloyster doesn't have any moves that are gonna destroy me. Alright. Let's hit a Petal Dance. Yep, and you're dead! Let's tap this. Alright. Perfect. And now we'll come over here and tap you, mister. That sounded weird. It sounded less weird in my head. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's see. Let's hit a flamethrower. And you're dead. Alright. Mammo swine. And let's do this. Killed him. Hey guys, we're getting it done. Pretty easy. Alright. Last one. I don't want to get stuck here. So my only way out of this... Seemingly speaking... Okay. It's gonna have to be this one. Unless if there's another one that's... Unless if that's the one. No, that's not the one, because I can't even get over. Okay. Which one allows me over from the bottom side? Do any of them? Alright. I don't think any of them do.
Okay, that one does. Alright. Can't get up there. That might, be my, that might be my only option, and I have to go back, and I have to go switch it. Yeah, I think so. Alright. Alright, let's spin that. walk over here and walk up yes all right perfect trigonal all right let's fire fame And you're dead. Easy. These are all gonna be pretty easy, I'm not gonna be 100% honest. I'm super over leveled by accident. Alright. And I'm just using Fire Fang, I'm not even using Flamethrower. Why not? Perfect. Um, hmm. Well, yeah, we'll keep you up. And then, oh, wrong move. Actually, you're psychic type. Perfect. All right. Jello level 64. And we're gonna keep moving forward. All right, I'm gonna move this way first. Yeah, and we're gonna fight this person. Alright. Alright. Let's clip this. Let's see. Alright. We at least we put one of them. Alright, perfect. So now we've just gotta puzzle the screw. Let's see. Alright, let's push this button. Alright. All 
Alright, jump on this one. Alright, perfect. That one was a lot easier than the other one for some reason. Alright. Walking up to the gym leader. I'm gonna try a new voice on this guy. Because you know, it's just both extremely hard and terribly fragile at the same time. You know what that means depending on which Pokemon you choose and which one and which moves they use. I could be your most challenging opponent yet, or I could be a total pushover. But that's alright, that is just how it is. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's get the show on the road. Oh, he slapped the belly. I think that was funny. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Let's hit a flamethrower. And you're dead. One down. Alright, I have a luck. I always thought about using this Pokemon. I thought this Pokemon was very interesting, but I never got around to using it. Alright. Flamethrower. And then we just got one more Pokemon left. Oh, let's see. We'll keep battling. And we'll do a flamethrower. And you're dead. Yes. Gain that level for me. And we won. Oh, Sandy, I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. Impressive. Your Pokemon fought with great courage. I can tell you trained your Pokemon well. And look at that lag. Alright. What you have right here is called the Iceberg Badge. As long as, so, as, long as you have that, and all your Pokemon will surely look up to you and do their absolute best in battle. Let me give you these two. Ice Beam, yes. So we can put that on um, Grand Ninja. This move has an accuracy of 100. Not only that, but every once in a while, it will freeze the target if it hits two. I hope you've learned a valuable lesson today. Being rigid can make you tough, but it will also render your fragile. You're better off being flexible. You know what I mean? Some people are fluid like water and can adapt to their environment without changing what's important on the inside. Not me though, I guess I'm too stubborn. Maybe that's why I love ice types. Fun. And let's slide. And let's walk out. And Wolfrix. Oh. Here's the future champ. I know you'll love. I know and love. Looks like you trumped our old gym leader. It's not a bad thing to test the limits of your strength. Am I right or am I right? And since you're such a star, I guess the this means you. You're off to the Pokemon League. And Wolfrix here too. You know what? You'll have all the gym badges now, so that's really one thing left to do. It's time to head off to the Pokemon League. Listen up now, trust in your Pokemon, and trust no limits to what you can achieve. And with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Once you do, join that breadstick battalion. Make sure you check out my other channels in the description below. And besides all that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.